Hi everybody, it's Claire from Handmade at Hudson's and in my last video I showed you how to make a few cards using this which is the Still Seen stamp set from Stampin' Up which is available until the 3rd of May and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make some cards using uh, the Still Seen stamp set and also the coordinating snow globe dies. So when these were originally released in a previous um, June to December mini or I think it was an autumn winter Christmas catalogue as we like to call it um, they actually came as a bundle but th the thing that I would say about this is I absolutely adore the dies I'm not so sure about the stamp set I do love the sentiments but the dies will stand by themselves so only three of the dies so this one this one and this one coordinate with the stamp oh nope <laughs> she says um this one coordinate with the stamp set the others stand alone and actually there are other ways that you can use the stamp set as i showed without having the dies but i do think that the dies are very very good i adore them so i'm going to put these back on before i cause chaos and lose them so um they also had a shaker element available so um when you search for uh snow globe videos you'll see quite a lot of them use this these to show you actually how to make a snow globe which is why i'm not showing you how to make a snow globe in this video it's really simple really cute and also there are a few uh videos out there showing you how to change these into Christmas decorations without actually putting them onto a card, which are also super, super cute. So um, today I'm going to show you how to make some cards using the dies and the stamps. And then um, my next video will show you how to um, use just the dies and a different stamp set. So if I take this out of the way and then I will bring in my um, first card. So my first card is this one so it is um using the church and i have used my favorite layout um at the moment and the snow backgrounds so this one is a dotted background using the ch uh, chalk marker or um the um blender pen and the stamping uh, the white stamping ink but if you look click it down below they'll show you how to make snow backgrounds and with this one I have used the misty moonlight background and I've also used copper foil so on this one I paper pierced the um, windows back in and on this one I added foil to the background so um, I have already done some of the bits on my card because you've already seen me make this card a number of times so I have already stamped the sentiment and also the sentiment for the inside and I have got a piece of or a card which is 29 centimeters scored at 14 and a half and that is 10 and a half but all the measurements will be linked in below um, in my metric everyone else's metric and imperial so I use my metric because I find it easy to count in um, and this is a piece of misty moonlight which has been snowed and the video to show you how to do that is linked in below as well and that is ten and a half by seven and a half and I'm just going to grab my seal because it's the closest thing to me I'm going to add some whoa so I've got to keep from remembering with this not to push down too hard and also to keep it at an angle so I'm just going to add that to the top of my card and then if it sticks out on either side, which it currently is doing, then you would grab. So I'm just going to grab my little mini guillotine, set it in and just take it back down to whichever size that you wanted, which is ten and a half. 
and then just going to cut that off. So there we go, we've got a prettier card. And then for the church, I have got two of the background. And then I have also got a spire. Um, and I've only cut one of those. So what I'm going to do is I am going... Oh, sorry. So with the spire, I have stuck tape on the back to make sure that it doesn't um, lose the windows that I want to keep. So I'm going to take some dotted tape. So this is just one from my stash. So the reason I like dotted tape is because um, if you go over, so let's say the windows of here, it doesn't show through on your um, foil. So if I stick this on, if you can see, there's no glue residue on there. And then I'm just going to undercut here so that you can't see the gold card I'm just going to move that back a little bit there we go okay and then I'm going to add some to the back of both of these as well so I'm just going over the window and then I'm going to undercut and then I'm just going over the window again And I'm just going to undercut this as well. And then um, on the back one, I'm going to cut the top off and then I'm going to put it in half. And then for this one, for the front one, I'm going to add some glue. I'm just going to add some dots, I think. Um, and I'm just going to line this up. So I just want to line the roof and the bottom up. And then on the second one, I want to do the same. So I'm just going to line the roof and the bottom up. And then for the steeple, I'm going to add some more glue. And I forgot that I haven't done the tower. So all I need to do is to cut off a piece. And if I take it down to here, should be invisible, which it is. Okay, so I've cut that and I'm just going to pop that and line it on with the reef again like so so it actually turns out that the front of your church is uh, longer than the back of your church so from there I'm going to add some dimensionals so I have got some mini dimensionals here And I think actually even the minis are going to be too big for the top of the church. So I'm just going to cut one out. And simply add that at the top. And then I'm going to add another, I think I might actually add a big one in the middle. So I'm going to put those to one side for a minute because I'll need them again in a second. <laughs> no, yeah, I'll probably lose them. So I'm just going to peel the backing off the dimensionals. And then I'm just going to add the church. So what I've been doing in the last few is adding it so that the uh, roof just hits the horizon line. And 
there we go we've got a card with a church on so card number two is quite a simple card and i've done it in two different ways so um for the first way i'm just going to move these out of the way for the first way i have used a um watercolor sorry a water brush and added some color to the card and the second way i've added color using a blending brush and now actually this is actually night of navy although it looks a bit purpley in the light so i'm going to show you how to do this but in a different way so again i have got two cards prepared so i've got one where i have heat embossed copper and heat embossed the sentiment in copper on the inside and i have got another one where it's just season's greetings so my plan is to um watercolor on the back of this one so i'm actually going to watercolor with my wing costella so all you need to do is make sure that your brush isn't too wet and then take the color that you're going to watercolor with so I am going to use Misty Moonlight for this one. And as you can tell, I've already used some or done some watercolour and using Misty Moonlight. And then all I'm going to do is to paint or to, to, to simply put, put down ink where I am planning to put my so it's actually drier than I thought it would be so I'm just going to add a bit more Stella, and of course I've actually put too much in there so now it's a bit too wet and I'm hoping that this isn't going to be too crazy so the reason you don't want to go over it too many times is because it will start to plith so I'm just running over the sides whether I can blend those bits out so i'm actually going to leave that to dry before i add the next part of the card and for this one i am going to blend but i'm going to blend using shaded spruce so i have heat embossed with copper on this one and i'm just going to check my blending brush is clean which is fine and I'm just going to dab off the excess and then I'm going to add a circle in the background and I'm just going round and round in circular motions and then as that is dry already I'm going to take my die cut now it's up to you whether you want to keep the base on i personally am going to take the base off this one <clears throat> so i'm just going to take some scissors and cut the legs and then as i said earlier i'm going to use my uh, dimensionals again on this one so again i'm just going to take some minis and i'm going to pop some on and then just have a look from the front and I think I put that in the wrong place so you can see it under his face so to solve that you either take it off which I could do actually I might just half it Oh, 
just chop it in half. That will work better. And then just take the backing off. And make sure they don't go in your tea. There's been a few interesting pictures recently of people's going in tea. So I've cut that out in copper foil. And I'm just going to add that to the front of my card. And I think that looks really, really cute. And then with this one, I have um, pushed out all the windows on the church. And I am simply going to add some dimensionals to the back and then stick that onto here. So again, um, I'm just going to grab, I think I might just go for a strip. Will that work? Um, let's try again. So the moral of the story is never throw away your parts of your dimensionals. And then I'm going to put this here. And I think that's a bit skewer. Let's try again. <laughs> Is that better? Mm. Yeah, there you go. So that's card number two, where we have gone for dimensional uh, church and um, also a stag. So card number three, again, is simple or simple-ish. So I have gone for Merry Malo with heat embossing and then I've cut out the um, base of the snow globe and the snow globe. So the base of the snow globe is cut out in gold foil on this one. This is white and then I've added the two bears in. So the way to do this, and I'll just move these to one side, is to take your scrap piece of paper and make sure that your snow globe can fit onto it actually. So as I said, find a piece of paper which is big enough for your snow globe. And then what you want to do is to make sure that your snow globe is taped in place. So I use some tape from Crafters Companion and I'm just going to tape that down. And then what you want to do is to decide what you're going to put in the centre of the snow globe. So I think I'm going to go for a bear again. So you would take your dies And place them wherever you think on your snow globe that you're going to want your bears. So I want them somewhere about there. And then again, I'm just going to tape them down. So the reason you want to tape them down is so that they don't move. And so that when you're running it through, the bear doesn't... Um, affect your snow globe and the snow globe doesn't affect your bears so i'm just going to run that through my die cutting machine and i'll be back in a second okay so my bears have already popped out so you just want to take the tape off carefully um because it can be quite sticky let's just take this off carefully there we go and now we have a snow globe and two bears so my bears are simply going to go in my uh, spare, spares bag. So I have a collection of um, die cuts that I've already used and I'm just going to put my dies away. And then all I'm going to do is take a copper bear and pop those into the die cut holes. And then I'm just going to turn this over and that's not worked. So really all you're doing is popping these back in. And then I'm using my tape again to stick these back in. So this will hold it in place on the card. And when I turn this over, the bear now doesn't fall over. So to finish off this card, I have already um, 
heat embossed season's greetings and added a sentiment on the inside so this is a uh, copper embossing powder sorry embossing as well and i have cut out my base and my um other base from copper foil as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the dots again because i want this to be quick and then i'm going to add this to my base and then i'm going to hold it down and turn it over and give it a good rub and there my base is done so again oh she says and I've missed a bit so let's take this off let's give it a liberal amount and let's line that up and push that down <laughs> this is so not going very well today let's push it back up again Do you ever have one of those days where every card seems to be crazy? What's one of those days today? Okay, so that's now stuck down. And I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to add dimensionals. So for this one, I'm going to go for the big ones again. So I'm just going to find a packet in here and add them to the back. And I don't want a soggy bottom or a soggy middle so I am going to add them all over and then you just want to peel them off and then I'm just going to straighten up my card and add a snow globe and then I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back of my bears as well although I now have actually a song in my head from Game of Thrones which is not a good plan the bear the bear and the maiden fair <laughs> might have to go and read that book again so I'm just peeling these off move these out of the way so I don't get them stuck in my card and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that underneath the snow globe and then add that so there's my last card so we've got card three which is the copper bears we've got card two in two different ways using a blending brush and also a wink of Stella to watercolor in the background and then we've got a church um, using the copper foil in as well so I hope you've enjoyed my video today thank you very much for pressing play if you've got any questions you can contact me my email is claire at handmadeathudsons.co.uk you can find me on the tinter web handmadeathudsons.co.uk um, as I said all the details for the measurements are below and also the items that I've used are down there as well and thank you very much for pressing play on my video if you are not a subscriber please subscribe and ring that bell so that you know when i am uh, or i put another video up so thank you very much and i hope to see you on my next video when i will just be using the dies from the um snow globe die set thank you bye